G'day everyone, Matt from Panda Garage here today. We're doing a bit of a fix up on some of the last little pieces I need to do on my Monaro. Now today, doing the seat belts. Now you would have seen a lot of seat belt videos of this nature, a lot of good ones, and a lot that have actually taught me how to do this and actually worked out why my seat belts were getting stuck in the first place. So basically I'm gonna get stuck into making a video on how to clean your seat belts to make them retract faster because mine aren't retracting that well, as I'll show you right now. So welcome to Panda Garage. Okay, so as you can see, seatbelt sort of once it's fully retracted, it zips up pretty quick, but then eventually it gets to here and it starts getting stuck and you've got to sort of assist it in, into the tolder. So basically today, the job is to get this to retract faster. I feel like that's actually the stopping spot. So I feel like this is actually the stopping spot right there as it's got the little grommet thing. But basically, I want to clean this up so it fully retracts it. As you can see, you've got to sort of force it back in there. So we're going to get this sorted out um, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so what we're going to need is a bucket of warm water with laundry detergent in it. I'm going to sit it here and hopefully it doesn't tilt back too far. Actually, chuck that there. All right, so we need that. Next, we're going to need a pair of pliers that lock off so I can add this around my seat belt so it locks into place and won't damage it. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out all our seat belt as far as it will go. Then we're going to put our cloth around the top. And we're going to lock it off so it won't go anywhere. Next. We are going to put all the seat belt we have into the bucket. So chuck it all as much as you can get in the bucket. Now we're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to squeeze it out and we're going to keep checking it until it looks much cleaner. And for the parts that you can't get in, particularly you can see on my see on the Monaro there's a lot of like extra uh, seat belt so we're going to scrub that later on with a cloth so for now we're going to soak all this in here and hopefully that's going to start doing the trick okay as you can see it's probably a little bit hard but that water is starting to get very murky so I'm just going to wring this out a little bit oh. Yeah, that is starting to be very slick. So while we're here, we're going to also scrub these. Okay, so with just a sponge, I'm gonna just, oop, just gonna scrub down the rest of it. Just to, just to make sure. It's all nice and tidy. On the top as well, that's very important. So we're going to now leave this just a little bit longer if it would stay in. All right, so we're going to leave this a little bit longer, get it to soak a little bit more, then we're going to dry it, and then hopefully this will retract real easily. Okay, so it's been about half an hour now, and this water has turned like brown, so brown. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this out, 
and um, we're going to dry it off and clean up the seatbelt and hopefully this will solve all our problems. It's getting very dark here now but I really wanted to try this out and um, it's feeling pretty good so we're going to get this all out, squeeze out as much, much of that as possible, remove the bucket, Ugh. that, I'm going to open up our towel, nice clean dry towel, we're going to just try and dry off all the residue. Yes, so it's looking it looks really good like look at that like it's still a little bit wet but it looks way better than it did originally so unfortunately we don't have the sun to sort of dry this out so we might have to resort to different measures but it looks good it looks really good Okay, so it's not quite dry yet, but I mainly wanted to see how it would retract. So I've just disconnected this now, and hopefully, we'll see it like might take a little bit. It has been dirty for a while. Okay, so it doesn't quite. So in the end, basically the next day I actually pulled it out and it was all nice and dry and actually tested it again and actually worked really well. So recommend doing it uh, for any seatbelts, even if you just want to tidy them up, give them a good soaking and it really does make a difference. Um, I didn't really film an end video to this, I thought I had, but in the end... Um, I forgot, so when I've come to edit this, uh, I've got nothing but me uh, testing it out while it's still wet. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to check us out on Instagram and Facebook, The Panic Garage. Um, subscribe and like this video if you um, haven't already. Um, and so until next time, guys, my name's Matt. This has been Panic Garage, and I'll see you all next time.